Ever since the pandemic, we've seen a massive decline in housing inventory and it's not getting any better. But there is one segment that seems to be doing pretty well during this time and that is new construction. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of buying new construction homes in the Houston metro area. Hey, my name is Julian. I'm a local real estate advisor in the Woodlands. If you like this content, hit like on the video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and join our community. If you watch this video and you have any questions for me or my team, I've got my contact info pinned in the comments where you can email or text me to connect. New construction share of inventory is growing due to a combination of resale inventory declining and new housing starts increasing. In 2000 to 2019, the average share of new construction inventory was around 13%. Today, new construction makes up nearly a third of total inventory across the US. And in Houston, new construction makes up 48 to 64% of total inventory in some markets, including Cypress, Hockley, Conroe, and Magnolia. Now, new construction isn't always going to be the best option for everybody. So let's go ahead and break down the pros and cons of buying new construction homes in the Houston area. And if you've got experience buying new construction or you're thinking about doing new construction, would love to know what your thoughts are and why you chose new construction over resale. Pro number one is you've got lots of options. There are hundreds of communities being developed in the Houston area and many more being announced every single month. And they're building all sorts of styles and price points. You got luxury condos being developed in Galveston, townhomes of course being developed in the inner city. And on the outskirts and in the suburbs, you've got affordable home communities, you've got active adult communities being developed. You got sprawling estates and custom homes gated communities, golf course communities, lakefront homes, really anything that you are looking for, you'll be able to find with new construction here in the Houston area. The second pro is gonna be peace of mind. When I'm working with buyers who are looking at resale homes, it doesn't matter what their price point is, it doesn't matter how many homes they've bought before or what the location is, every single buyer that I've worked with is concerned about the quality and condition of the home. How old is the roof? How old is the AC? Is it working? Is there anything wrong with the water heater? What about the appliances? That is top of their mind every single time. And don't get me started on the foundation. So with new construction, you shouldn't have to worry about any of those things for at least 10, 15 years. So all appliances, the HVAC, the water heater, they're all gonna be covered under the manufacturer's warranty. And if you're dealing with a reputable builder, you're gonna get a structural warranty with them. Most often you're also gonna get a craftsmanship warranty with them. Some builders are gonna go above and beyond and offer additional warranties such as water intrusion. So you wanna make sure when you are looking at new construction, you're having that discussion with the builder on what they offer in terms of the warranty and how easy is it for you to be able to file a claim if you need to. If you're looking for good deals or maybe a little bit of extra help with closing costs, then pro number three is perfect for you. Most builders offer really good incentives. The most common incentive that they offer is gonna be closing cost incentives. This can range anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000 or maybe even a little bit more, depending on the builder and the price point. In some cases, this is essentially wiping out your closing costs. So you're coming to the table with really just your down payment. So you're saving a lot of money out of pocket with these closing cost incentives. And a lot of builders out there offer other incentives based on your employment and occupation. So teachers, firefighters, police, uh, veterans, you can also sometimes get additional incentives from those builders just based on your occupation. If you're building from the ground up, some builders offer design center credits, and this can range anywhere from 20,000 up to 50 or 60,000. And in some cases, I've seen a builder offer $100,000 towards design center credits. And this can really go a long way with updating light fixtures, faucets, plumbing, your countertops, appliances, you know, really taking that and making the most use out of it with your upgrades. But the big one right now that is really attracting a lot of buyers are the interest rate incentives. I've seen anywhere from 3.99% up to the high fives, low sixes, depending on the builder. And this is super helpful with the rising rate environment. One thing that I would recommend a lot of my buyers doing because some builders will offer a combination of the interest rate buy down and closing cost assistance is 
take the savings from the closing costs and buy down that interest rate a little bit further. Save as much as you possibly can on that interest payment. Pro number four, you're usually not fighting other buyers over one home. When you're looking at resale, you're looking into getting into an established neighborhood, chances are you're gonna be in competition with other buyers and you're gonna be up against a bidding war on those homes. That's usually not the case with new construction. There's plenty of homes available, plenty of inventory, plenty of lots to choose from. For the vast majority of communities and builders, you're not up against a big competition of buyers. It's just whoever signs that contract first and deposits the earnest money, that's the one who's getting the home. Another pro with new construction are gonna be the amenities that these communities have to offer. A lot of the newer ones, especially the master plan communities, are stepping up their game in terms of the amenities, the pools, the parks, the grounds and the entrances. It's all very well designed, very beautiful, and offers a lot of benefits and features for their residents. And some of these communities even do regular events for their residents. They've got an on-site event coordinator and they're doing at least five, 10 events every single month for their residents. So a lot of fun things for families to look forward to in these new communities. All right, let's move on to the cons. Con number one, completion delays. This is the biggest con in my opinion when it comes to buying new construction homes in the Houston area. And there's a lot of factors that can delay the completion of your home. You've got weather delays if it's raining a whole bunch. There's certain things that the builders just can't do if it's raining. Uh, other delays are going to be labor shortages. We've had a massive labor shortage, and one of the reasons why we haven't been able to build enough homes for demand. Other of the delays will be the material delays. During the pandemic, we all remember how hard it was to get appliances. If you're building a home, you had to wait months to get windows sometimes delivered because they had a massive delay with those. And right now, we're dealing with transformers, so we're having delays on powering up the communities. So a lot of delays that we're sometimes dealing with. If you've got a really strict timeline to get into a home, new construction, unless it's absolutely completely finished or it's about a month away and it's powered up, you probably don't want to go this route. You want to just stick with that resale option. Con number two, we're kind of going back to the incentives. In order to get the incentives that the builders are offering, you usually have to use their preferred lender. So this can kind of come into play if you have a very close and personal relationship with a mortgage lender. Maybe it's one that you've been working with for a while and you feel bad because a lot of these lenders, they just can't compete with the incentives that the builders are offering. So you kind of have to make a decision on if you want to stick with that lender because you have an established relationship with them then you might want to stick with resale and forego looking at new construction. If it doesn't matter to you, you just want to get a good deal, new construction, the way to go. Con number three is there are very few protections for buyers in these contracts. Every single builder has their own proprietary contract drawn up by their lawyers and it's all about protecting the builder. And as nice and awesome as salespeople are, and I know a lot of really great salespeople with these builders, you got to remember that they are employed by that builder. The builder's best interests are top of mind when it comes to those salespeople. So it is so important to make sure that you have a trusted real estate professional with you when you're talking to these builders, when you're visiting these homes, when you're having these conversations and before you sign these contracts. You've got an agent who's been through the process before. They know what to look for in these contracts. Read it over with them. Make sure you understand exactly what you're signing. Always have a professional real estate agent with you who can help guide you along the way, answer your questions, and really have your best interest in mind when it comes to choosing a builder and working through the process. Kind number four is it could be challenging to sell in a neighborhood that is still developing. You can't compete with new construction. New is always better. New is always better. If a buyer had the opportunity to spend $20,000 more to get a brand new home, that's what they're gonna go for. You've gotta be really competitive with your price, you gotta be really competitive with the incentives, and you've gotta really have things that the builders can't offer. So if you bought a home three years ago and you put in an amazing pool, 
you may have an edge against the builder. If there's a particular style of home that's not being built in that community anymore, you may have the advantage, but for the most part, the builder is always gonna have the advantage. So be prepared for it to maybe take a little bit longer to sell, maybe sell it for a little bit less than what you want, because you got to compete with the incentives that these builders are offering. If they're doing 5,000, 10,000 towards closing costs, you've gotta be able to have enough equity to match that to attract the buyers. There are strategies that are different for developing neighborhoods than there are for established neighborhoods that are 30, 40 years old and they're not building it anymore. Now, a lot of my buyers do end up going the new construction route. They wanna take advantage of the incentives. They wanna take advantage of the inventory that they can't find anywhere else. They want the amazing amenities and to be around all the developing commercial spaces with retail, shopping, and dining that's attracted to the neighborhoods. And they just want something new. So if you are thinking about going the new construction route and you wanna get into the game, you're curious about the builders, you're curious about communities, you're curious about the incentives that are being offered, all my contact info is below. Just reach out to me, be more than happy to help you out with your questions. 